Alexander. Welcome back everyone. Good Wednesday morning. We have some different weather this morning to talk about. So temperatures a little different than we've been used to here. Five degrees below zero in Great Falls, which isn't that different from the temperatures we've seen the last couple of weeks. It's been below zero almost every day with wind chills down in the 20s below. But check out the temperature in the capital, 26 degrees. I never thought that I would be excited or this excited to see 26 degrees for the low temperature. So it's a pretty warm start comparatively to a couple of other spots across the state here. You can see there's a big difference in the temperatures from the northern part of the state and a little bit further south. Just a short distance between these two temperatures and a huge difference in the numbers here. So very cold air to our north, but it hasn't uh, moved into our area. We are going to see some snow though. So on the radar here, you can see that snow kind of already moving in along the Rocky Mountain front. It's been snowing. It snowed yesterday. Today that continuing around Hart Butte at Teton Pass. And there is a winter storm warning in that area. In effect around Helena, things are a little quieter, but you can see that snow starting to fill in on some of the hills around town and in the valley. Great Falls starting to get some snowflakes on the radar here as well. And today's going to be a pretty widespread snowfall day, which is why there is this large winter weather advisory. Now there are a couple of advisories uh, can't really spend too much time on here, but there's a flood watch down in southwestern Montana due to an ice jam on the Jefferson River. Also an avalanche warning for areas west of the divide in the back country. So if you have plans to be out and about in those areas, I would definitely check before you leave for that. Now what's really, really kind of the big issue here is this winter weather advisory, which is for most of the state here. So Helena, Great Falls, the High Line and parts of central Montana all included in this because of that widespread snowfall that's coming. And, uh, for the next few days. There's going to be lots of snowfall here. There's also a winter storm warning, as I mentioned, for the northern Rocky Mountain front. This has been in effect since yesterday morning, so it's been snowing there, continuing to snow this morning and through the afternoon today. Now, timing that out, you can see things really starting to pick up later on this morning into the early afternoon hours through most of the state. Pretty widespread snowfall. Almost everywhere is going to get at least a dusting of snowfall here, but it'll be clearing out fairly quickly by late this evening into the overnight hours. It's going to be clearer. We're going to have uh, less cloud cover, so really cooling off this evening as there won't be many clouds to hold in the heat. But tomorrow we're going to be starting out a little nicer for Valentine's Day. Things are going to start out sunny. However, it's not going to last as long as I was hoping. Uh, looks like we're going to see this front coming in a little bit quicker than it looked like it was going to a couple of days ago. So some more snowfall coming for Thursday afternoon and evening for the evening commute. Things might be a little slick out there for tomorrow. And then we've got all the snow coming overnight Friday, a quick break for Friday afternoon, but there's more snow coming right behind it. So really kind of some complex weather systems that have been uh, showing up here for the next few days. Plus, we've got snow for Saturday and Sunday as well. Now today, that's really going to be concentrated on the northern Rocky Mountain front where the snowfall, that uh, winter storm warning is in effect. And then through north central Montana here around the capital, things won't be quite as heavy as Great Falls, but some of the mountains around the capital will see some higher snowfall totals around the three inch range here for some of the areas along the High Line or just south of the High Line. So we've got lots of snow here for the next few days today. Uh, especially and then the weekend as well. Now highs today because of that difference in the cold air here, really a difference between Helena and Great Falls. The inversion has broken in the Helena Valley, so we're looking at some warmer weather, relatively warmer weather, almost hitting the freezing point here, which feels nice after all of the below zero days that we've had. But a uh, couple of warmer days here, then the weekend is going to be cooling off again. Uh, Sunday, really going to be a chilly day out there. Now it's going to be pretty snowy here for the next few days, but the beginning of next week, Week. We're going to get a break from the snow, so hopefully you can catch up on the shoveling. And also just some sunshine would be nice to see after all of the cloudy days that we have ahead here. Now tell me, Jacob, do you have any guesses what's the biggest Valentine's weather event in recent history? A tornado, blizzard, ice storm, or polar vortex? It's not as easy as you think. I'm just tempted to say snowstorm or blizzard, I guess, would it be, but uh, it just seems like it could be. Well. We'll see. We'll see at the we'll end of the, the show. Give me the answer in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, Katie, thanks.